students now i am going to explain about shared pages this topic is uh, from memory management chapter from operating system subject so here and the advantage of paging is the possibility of sharing common code so it is particularly important in a time sharing environment consider a system that supports 40 users each of when executing a text editor so all of them they are using what a common text editor if the text editor consists of 150 kb of code and 50 kb of data space then 8000 kb needed to support the 40 users if the code is re-entrant code it can be shared re-entrant code what is meant by re-entrant code that is pure code it is non-self modifying code if the code is re-entrant then it never changes during execution thus two or more processes can execute the same code at the same time each process has its own copy of registers and data storage to hold the data for the process execution the data for two different processes will of course uh, it can save for two different processes now here we have a three page editor each page of size 50 kb see in the diagram here we have a three page editor each page is of size 50 kb the large page size is used being shared among three processes each process has its own data usage this is data page table now only one copy of the editor needs to be kept in physical memory each user's page table maps onto the same physical copy of the editor but data pages are mapped onto different frames Thus, to support 40 users, we need only one copy of the editor that is 150 KB plus 40 copies of the 50 KB of the data space per user. The total space required is now 2150 KB instead of 8000 KB, a significant savings we are doing now. So, compilers, window systems, runtime libraries, database management system and so on whatever we are using all these heavily used programs can also be shared and here to be shareable the code must be re-entrant that is we have to remember so here in this slide that is nothing but private code and data each process keeps a separate copy of the code and data no so the pages the private code and data can appear anywhere in the logical address space so this is the private code now process p1 p2 and p3 are there so for every process it created three page tables page table for p1 for p2 and p3 now these three processes they are using the common three editors ed1 ed2 ed3 observe the names are same here for the page table process p1 ed1 ed2 ed3 means 0 1 2 for example just to imagine they kept in 3 4 6 here also 0 1 2 they kept in 3 4 6 0, 1, 2, they kept in 3, 4, 6. So, observe here. So, based on that, third frame, ED1, fourth frame, you are getting ED2, and sixth frame, you are getting ED3. So, they didn't repeat again for the three different processes. They are the common editors. So, that's why. Only for process P1, different data is coming in frame 1. So, that's why data 1. Next, pro process P2, in seventh frame, we are getting what? Data 2. That's over. Now for the process 3, the, the data for process 3, that is data 3 is available in frame 2. So that's it. This is the shared pages example.